Hello, and this week I want to build off last. So we're still in the fall reset. Earlier this week, I had my in-person Women's Business Collective meeting that I run, and it was a really eye-opening meeting. We had a, a few women there, and we just got into really deep, good, great conversations. And one of the things that came up was what's the difference between an entrepreneur and a business owner? And everyone had a different answer. You know, I had a different answer than the woman who asked the question uh, because she had someone in her life, a former coach that had spoke over her what that looks like and made it so factual. Like if you do this, if you do this, if you do this, you're an entrepreneur. If you do this, this, that, you're a business owner. And other people in the room were just like, well, it's one and the same. And then we, we got Google out and we Googled it. And it was just so eye-opening. So I ask you, if you were asked that question, what is the difference to you? Because it's different to everyone, which I believe is the same with mindset. The word mindset is thrown around so much. It's almost like become a buzzword. And if you asked 100 people what mindset was, I can guarantee you, you're going to get about 100 different answers. So what is mindset to you? And can it change? Well, I absolutely know mindset can change uh, because it comes with an awareness. You know, mindset is your attitude towards the world your thoughts, uh, the self-image you carry, what you think is the truth. And that can always be shifting and changing, um, you know, how you view the world and your place in it. Uh, and I'm sure you have your own definition of mindset, uh, what it means to you. Uh, I don't think there's any right or wrong definition for any of them. I think it's true to where you're at today in your journey. And the most important thing to know is that, again, we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So it's expanding that. It's expanding your mindset. It's expanding your awareness. It's expanding your perspective and perception of all things. Um, getting a good coach or mentor yourself so you can take the blinders off because we all have them on. No matter how successful one gets, um, and actually, the most successful people have coaches and mentors and advisory boards because they know that having someone able to point out what you can't currently see is the way to quantum leaps and is the way to get from where you are to where you want to be a heck of a lot faster. So I encourage you to kind of play around with that. And in doing so, what I want to focus on today as well as in the fall reset, what would it look like if you did a 90 day sprint? So if you started today, let's say you start in mid September, you could be done by mid December and have the holidays, whatever those look like for you to really be present and show up how you would like to uh, for your family or for your celebrations or whatever that looks like for you. You know, think about that. Actually, at the Women's Business Collective, we deep dived into each of these women's businesses and what they could do in the next 90 days. I said, what if you just picked one thing and you did one thing and you did it consistently and you showed up every morning? And like I said last week, you set the intention and no matter what, you were going to do that. And I said, let's say you want to talk to 10 people a day if you're in real estate, uh, you want to make 10 new 10 new contacts, connections, conversations every day, Monday through Friday, we'll say. What are you going to do if it's 7.30, 8 o'clock at night and you only have six? Like, what are what is your contingency plan? Are you going to go to the local grocery store that's open 24 hours a day? Are you going to jump on social media and start messaging people, hoping that they'll engage with you? call a couple people, text a couple people, or are you going to be like, ah, it's too late. You know, I should have done it earlier. I let this, that, and the other thing get in my way. 
And I said, going back to entrepreneur and, you know, business owner, I said, my definition is between an entrepreneur and an amateur, because an entrepreneur and a business person to me are one and the same. Um, and the other woman had a good definition of entrepreneur and a difference between that and a business person. Um, it's being able to exit your business, walk away for a month and have it continue to run. Uh, that's a true entrepreneur because your business can run without you. So I love that explanation. And mine was that an entrepreneur shows up and does what needs to be done regardless, regardless if they got an hour of sleep, regardless as if they're in a fight with their spouse or their significant other, regardless of if they have a headache, regardless of how they're feeling, whatever it would be you know, they show up and they do it anyway, because we know consistency equals success. And an amateur will let every reason get in the way, every excuse, they'll just accept it. So thinking about that, I encourage you to do a 90 day reset with me and the other women from the Women's Business Collective. And imagine what your business could look like by mid-December. Now think about it. One of them was going to, she's a chiropractor. She said, I'm going to ask 10 people a week, who is their family chiropractor? 10 people, I might know them, I might not know them, two a day. So she does that for three months, just five days a week, 40 a day, 40 a month, 120 conversations she will have had by mid-December that she's going to put intentionality towards and show up and do every single day. What will her business look like? 120 conversations that she wouldn't have had, had she not had the intentionality before it and done the 90 day reset. Let's say 10% of those people give her a try or give her a referral. Do you think that 12 people, 12 new clients would change her business? What would 12 new clients do for your business? How are you showing up consistently to feed your data bank? And again, a lot of people call it a database. I call it a data bank. You should have it set up. And this is all the past clients, uh, your sphere of influence, the people that know you like you trust you, prospects that you've talked to, whatever business it's in. You know, it's it's just about if you're in business, I'm sure you have competition. And if you're not showing up and asking for the business, number one, the answer is already no, because you're not even asking. And number two, they're going to fall somewhere. And why shouldn't it be with you? You are going to show up and you're going to serve them at the best level. You're going to you know, give exceptional service, you're going to make sure that they're taken care of. Uh, and you know what, maybe if it isn't, it doesn't end up being you, you can give them a referral to someone that will suit them perfectly. So really think about that and think about just showing up and asking really good questions. Having a human conversation when you're sitting across from someone, it doesn't have to be salesy. It doesn't have to be icky. It doesn't have to be heavy. You know, just be human. How can you serve and give to this person sitting across from you? What are some really good questions that you can answer to find out how you can help them? Because every single person you come in contact with needs your help in some way, shape, or form. And so why not figure out how you can help them? And if you come from that mindset, and if you come from, you will never outgive a giver, and you just help people maybe take their tunnel vision off or think about things from a different perspective or through a different lens, maybe not even asking for the business right away, but just showing up as a human, helping another human, that's where you're depositing into the laws of the universe, the laws of reciprocity, the laws of, um, you know, it, it's just the laws of the universe and how you show up, you know? So think about that. And it's a numbers game. 
It's really just about being consistent and the success will come. What happens is so many people start this and they'll have a couple conversations and it won't go anywhere or you'll get rejected. It will hurt. And you'll be like, this doesn't work. This doesn't feel good. This is a little painful. I'm not doing it anymore. And you stop. And that's the difference between most of the population and the top one to 3%. They just don't stop. They take it. They fall. They're failing all day, every day. And they just fail more than the general public is willing to fail because so many people are preparing to get perfect, to come from perfection. I got to do this. And it's when this is in place and, and my bank account looks like that. And maybe when the kids are done with school or this happens or all these reasons why. And the successful people, the people that are in the top percentage, they just do it. And they, they do it regardless. They do what the general public won't do because they have all the excuses and all the reasons not to. So I question, I the question's out to you. What does your 90-day reset look like? And again, just like I talked about yesterday, set your intention in the morning. What is it you're going to do? And I would do it right away so you can just get it taken care of. And it's not 7.30, 8 o'clock at night and you're breaking a promise to yourself. I get it. Life shows up. If that happens, tack it on to the next day. Don't make it more than two days in a row. It could happen maybe once, maybe, but don't let it go more than two days in a row. And then at the end of the day, like bookend your day, start with a great intention, write it down, do whatever you need to do but show up and keep your promises to yourself. And at the end of the day, ask yourself, where did I show up and do great? And where did I fall a little short? But do it from a place of no judgment. Just be curious. You're collecting data. You want to learn. You can't change anything. You can't change what you did earlier that day. It's already done. What you can do is you can take the information, learn from it, not beat yourself up about it, just learn from it, no judgment. And then the next day when you set your intention, be 1% better. Be aware. Come at it from a different mindset, a different attitude, a different awareness. 1% better every day. And what would your business, our relationship, or whatever it is, your health, your eating habits, if you're trying to work out, if you're trying to do a new habit and there is no try, it's really you intend to, what would that look like in 90 days if you put the blinders on, which again, I always talk about taking the blinders off. And in some cases, when you're going after a goal and you're doing these sprints and you're showing up and you're going to go after it, and you're doing, instead of a year goal, you're doing this short goal, you know, do it with intention. You know, I listened to Mel Robbins podcast and she had talked about that, um, you know, doing something like this and, and what it sounds like, if it's like, okay, uh, in 2024, I'm going to get in shape. Now, what would it look like if by December 15th, I'm going to lose 10 pounds or I'm going to completely switch my eating habits, or I'm going to add five clients, or I'm going to do this activity. You know, it's just, there's a more different energy around it. It's more specific and it's more time bound. It's like the smart goal. You want a smart goal. So it's um, specific, measurable. You can articulate it. It's time bound, S-M-A-R, realistic, and then time bound. So Think about it and just do it for 90 days. Go all in. It doesn't even have to be a huge goal. Uh, but again, it should push you. It should make you a little uncomfortable because that's where the growth happens. And when you receive that goal and when you reach that goal in 90 days, it's the after effect. Now it's what and who you have to become in order to do that in the next 90 days. 
So you're going to build habits. You're going to show up differently. You're going to keep promises to yourself. You're going to raise your self-image, which we can never outperform our self-image. So once you start doing what you say you're going to do and keeping your promises and doing the things you're going to do, you're going to start seeing the results and you're just going to start setting a different standard and coming from a different place. So do it. Do it with me and share below what it is you're going to do, because I would love to hear along the way what you're doing, how it's working out. And if you need any encouragement or any help or any check-in, uh, comment below, send me a text message. I would love to talk with you and just you know do this with you because we could be and you can be in a completely different place in 90 days if you so choose. So have the awareness, shift your mindset, and go after it. No excuses. Keep your promises. Set the intention. Bookend your day. Figure out how you can do 1% better tomorrow. And continue to show up that like that in 90 days from now. I can promise you, you will have amazing results. So send me a message. I'd love to hear what you're going to do. And until next time, go out there and go get your goals. They're there waiting.